to where hopelessness sort of takes over your mindset and you're caught in what I call a, a negative thought pattern. And it's like no matter who's throwing solutions at you, it's like hitting a brick wall, they bounce off because you're so you're defeated. You're not receptive. Yeah. And so you're not, you haven't used solution based thinking in so long right. that uh, you forget how to use it to do that. And so you, it, it's like I was talking to this guy who was, was experiencing homelessness and I said, well, he's like, well, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a felon and I can't get a job. And I was with a buddy and he owns a restaurant. He said, well, 70% of my workers are, have felonies. And he's like, yeah, but, and then he's talking about doing, uh, ele- being an electrician. And he was like, yeah, but these corporate companies won't hire me. And he goes, most of the guys I hire are little mom and pop. Like, and he kept throwing solutions at him. And he kept saying, no, it's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. And when I started to realize watching that was I related it to addiction just because I've been in a position before where people were throwing solutions at me. And I couldn't, I couldn't use solution-based thinking. I was too caught. I was so hopeless that nothing's going to work. I'm, right. I'm screwed. It's over.